I'm going to show you how to trace this multiple color logo so that you have all of your colors traced and all of your vector lines. So I'm using a free program to do this. It's called Inkscape. I'll provide a download link so that you can download Inkscape and use it. Just download, install. I've already done that and I've opened up my image file here that I want to trace. Now I'm using this file because it's multiple colors. It's not too complicated, but it does uh, have this part with the teeth that definitely uh, adds a layer of complexity. So here is my image. I've opened it in Inkscape. To open an image, you would go to File, Open, Select Your Image. Uh, this is just a JPEG image. Now the very first thing, we really need to make sure that we click on our image and select it. When it's not selected, you won't see this box around it. So I'll click on the image. That'll select it. I'll head over to Path, Trace Bitmap. That'll bring up this dialog box. Now, a lot of people ask me questions, how do I trace colors? Because if you were just tracing black and white, you don't need to touch any of these settings. But because we have colors, we're going to select the colors radio button down here under multiple scans. Now over here in the scans box, scans basically represents the number of colors that we want. So I have, if you count the colors of the skulls, I have five colors, but we don't want to forget the black. So that would be six. So let's just enter six here. And before we do anything, we'll click update. Now when we click on update, it will generate a preview here. And that preview is not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is what I'm working with over here. So to get closer to that right here, to get closer to this, I'm going to increase this number just a little bit. Um, and as I increase it, you can see that it will change uh, my preview. So my preview still isn't uh, exactly how I want it to be. I'll just bump this up a little bit more and I'll click on update and this is kind of like a trial and error but we need to do this so now you can see that it's perfect it's exactly how I want it to look all of my colors are there and so I'll click on OK and that will execute the trace and when it's finished the OK button grays out and we can X out of this dialog box here you can see that my computer is working yours might be working as well now the next thing we're going to do is zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to hit the shift key and just zoom out and I'm going to click on my image and I'm going to drag it over to the right now you can see I have two images and I just dragged one over to the right but I'm left with one in the middle this is my original one and I'm going to select it and I'm going to delete it I'm going to take this image that I pulled over here bring it back to the middle and drop it right there in the middle of the page now I'm going to double click on that image and I'll be able to then pull each layer off to the side. And remember how we did 12 scans? Well, I should have 12 layers. Now I'm going to pull each one off because what I really want to do is I want to simplify this trace to the number of colors that I have, six. Because right now, all of these colors are their own path. And I don't need this many paths. and you would never want this many paths. It would confuse anything that you're uh, working on. So I can actually first click on this white area. And this is actually the white uh, background. And I'm actually going to delete the white background by selecting it, hitting the delete key. And what I really want to be left with here are only six colors, six layers. So I'm going to delete the layers that I don't need. Now, here's a green layer. Now this is another green layer, but this one has all these lines and it's distorted, so I'm going to delete this one. Now here's two reds. This one looks better and this one looks a little distorted with these lines right here. I'm going to delete that layer. Now the oranges, this might get confusing, but remember my original file? Well, this was the skull that was orange, not this one. So I'm going to keep this one and delete this one. Um, this dark green just not even one of the greens in my image so I'm going to delete that and I have two uh, black traces and I'm going to just simply delete this gray one and now you can see that I'm left with six layers I can select all of them with my mouse and what we're going to do is click on this button here and that will bring up the align and distribute tab I'll click on this button to center vertically and then this button to center horizontally. 
and you can see that I actually didn't grab these two layers um, at the bottom. How come I can't? There we go. And I'll just simply redo this align function, and that's it. That's all we need to do. Now, from here, we can file, save as. I'll rename it, and I'm going to save it in this drop down box as an EPS right there. And click on save. Now, I'm going to make sure that the resolution's at least at 300. Click on OK. And that's it. Um, I'm done. Now, I'm actually going to open up this file in Illustrator just to show you um, what it looks like. Now, I'm just left with uh, the paths for the graphic. I don't have the background. I don't need the background. This is really all I need. You can see that it, uh, it traced it really well, if you ask me. Um, and that's why I like Inkscape. That's why uh, I think Inkscape's a great program. Uh, because it's free and it traces this stuff really well so that's how you would trace a multiple color logo that's the easiest way that I know how to do it and I think the results are acceptable so if you like this video leave me a comment and like always thanks for watching